It's okay. You're in safe hands now. So remember, if you've been injured in an accident, you might be entitled to compensation. So don't delay. Call Quick Claim today. It's okay. Help's on its way. It'll be fine. And cut there. Thanks, everyone. That's a wrap. Thanks a lot, Rick. That was great. You sure? Yeah. You want me to put more emphasis on today? No, no, it's fine, honestly. I mean, it's daytime TV, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's for pond life. Come on. <laughs> Jobless morons stuffing their faces full of crisps. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Fat single mums with eight kids from 12 different dads where you're the comedians. Yeah, sort of bedridden pensioners wetting themselves. Oh, Wayne, no need for that, mate. Oh, I didn't mean... Thank you, my darling. That was really, really good. Honestly, so sorry for him, OK? OK, see you later. Bye. She was useless. Listen, thanks a lot, Rick. Yeah, that cheers, was really Jamie. great. OK. Look forward to working with you again. Yeah, cheers, Jamie. Cheers. Bye. If that lamp had landed a couple of feet closer, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Rick, please, I'm glad you're alive. Now be quiet. Sorry, I'm just saying. Sorry. I was up really late with Sam. No. It's a shame, isn't it? I'm so fond of Ben. So am I. Maybe we'll get back together. Let's hope so. If there's one thing this brush with death, I suppose we should call it, has taught me, it's that life is too short and you shouldn't waste a single minute. Twenty past six? I could have slept for another hour. <clears throat> I could have been dead. What is it with English spelling? You guys don't know how to spell properly. Theatre. T-R-E. Pathetic. I keep asking myself, why me? Why was I spared? Good question. It's like I was seeing everything for the first time. The trees. Rick, enough. The way they sway in the wind. It's like sitting here with Gandhi. The thing is, Marty, you've never had a near-death experience. I'm having one now. If it had happened to you, you don't know how you would have reacted. Oh, yes, I do. I'd sue their asses, and so should you. <laughs> what for? Trauma, sudden weight gain, and anything else my lawyer could think of. Marty. When will you learn to let go? Yes, they probably do deserve to be sued, and the director was a troubled man. But I'm alive. That's all that matters. Move on. Embrace the good karma. Already. Positive things are happening to me. Would you like tea or coffee, Magda? Tea or coffee? Would like tea? <sighs> you have it black, don't you? Yes. Thank you. That's a nice top, is it new? Yes, I get with money from cardboard sale. Sale. Good for you. Funny old thing, life. <laughs> yep. This is the day I wasn't meant to see. <laughs> ah, yes. You have accident at work. Oh, not just accident. I stared death in the face and live to tell all the tale. One time, when I was... It's funny. 
I remember once seeing a documentary about a group of plane crash survivors. And I always remember one of them saying he could only really talk about it with other survivors. I didn't understand it at the time, but I do now. I think that's why I find it so hard to open up and talk about it with you and Marty. And it's something I'll only ever be able to share with other survivors. One time when I was 18, soldiers surround village and come into house and make my family and me stand all together and they're pointing guns and nobody must speak. The leader is in house and I think he's going to say shoot them, but he says you go run now and we run into woods and hide for two weeks. Yeah, that's a bit different. This thing actually did drop that close to me. <laughs> it's not exactly filling, though, is it? Oh, I like salad. How's the food? It's delicious. Now, I wanted to show you something. Mm -hmm. What's that? Your menu? No, no, no. It's uh, Bryony's idea. Oh, yeah. How's all that going with the counselling? Oh, well, to be honest, for the last few sessions, I've got a bit stuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Bryony suggested I should try channeling my feelings through painting. Why not? That's a great idea. Sort of art therapy. I can see how that would work. It's just a question of letting go. Exactly. Letting your subconscious flow onto the paper. Mm. Merci. Absolutely. Wow. That's really good. Thanks. What's it called? Father. OK. Oh, it's about your father. That's fascinating. No, no, it, it's, it's not about him. It, it is him. Right. right. It's a portrait. Oh, I think that's really good. Yes, Bryony said it was very powerful. Yeah. I mean, she said maybe for the next one I should try relaxing my style a little. You think so? I don't know. She's probably right. Mm. Yes, I don't mind admitting. I'm rather pleased with the results. <laughs> Never knew I had it in me. Who knows? A whole new career may lie ahead. Why not? Go for it. Oh, thanks, Rick. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Wasn't that great? <laughs> I like it when we hate each other. That's how it works. If you're happy all the time, how are you going to be funny? All right, well, from now on, maybe you write the gags and I'll just stand up and say them. So, no change there, then. See, that's where you're supposed to come back at me. Well, that would just be childish. Oh, my God. Hi, Sam. Hi. Hi, Sam. Are you OK? Yeah. Uh, did I leave a book in here? Which book? It's got, like, um... Pictures of bands in it. I'll help you look for it. Thank you. Mm. Hey. Mm. Sorry to hear about you and Ben. Oh, cheers. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Ben's book. All right. Mm. So what happened? Uh, you know how we had the band? Yeah, you guys were good. Yeah, well, it all went a bit pear-shaped and we had this big row. Is this it? Oh, yeah, 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 cheers, thanks. May I? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. Yeah. Nice book. You still get to see it on weekends? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Take it to the zoo. Buy it an ice cream. Tell it it's not its fault. <laughs> funny line. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> She's a sharp kid. Witty. She gets more like Mel every day. Rick. Hmm? I just insulted you. Mm -hmm. Michael's in good form today. Was he? Yeah. He did really well putting him in touch with Bryony. She's got him into this art therapy. He did a painting of his father. It was, it was quite like him. Was it? Yeah. You OK? What's that? You know all that stuff I gave Meg to for the car boot sale? Yeah. Well. I gave her a shoebox full of postcards and God knows what, just mm. junk. And I think, well, in fact, I know that your grandfather's medals were in there. What? They were in an envelope. I suddenly remembered. I put them there ages ago. Well, so Magda sold them? Well, it wasn't her fault. She had no idea. Someone just came and bought the whole box. <sighs> so they're gone? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I looked everywhere just in case, but... Oh, God. I don't know what to say. Oh, well. Sorry? <laughs> Come here. Did you think I'd be cross? <laughs> mm -mm. <sighs> Working? Uh, uh, yeah, hi. I'm sorry, I won't disturb you. <laughs> mm. Ah, wonderful. 
beautiful thing, water. Yeah. You like some? Huh? Oh, no, I'm good. I've got a thing. Actually, I'm glad you're here. I was hoping we could have a little chat. Oh, uh, yeah? I hadn't had a chance to say how sorry I am. Why? What have you done? No, about you and Ben. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's fine. You're yeah, being very brave. Uh, yeah. not really. Just... Marty was making light of it earlier. He means well, but he can be a bit insensitive. Mm, I don't so... mind, you know. It was, it was funny. It was a joke. It was yeah. funny. OK. The thing is, this whole near-death business has taught me to appreciate what life has to offer rather than what it has missing. Good. No, well, what I mean is you have to look for the positive in a situation, like the one you're in... You know, with Ben. I know. Um, I do. I'm fine. I mean, the heartache does go. Dad, shut up. Well, you need to hear this. When you're young... No, uh, not really. I don't need to hear it because uh, I'm fine and I'm getting on with some work and everything's OK. And if it wasn't OK, I'd talk to Mum about it. Good. That's... Uh, that's good. Have you ever thought about painting your feelings? It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling What are you doing? The ladybird. <laughs> How long is this going to go on for? It's making me tense. Do you like a pastry? Rick, please. Do you want to know what happened to me this morning? No. I woke up early. It was a beautiful morning. I thought I'd go for a walk. I saw these pastries in the window of Angela's. And I thought, Marty would like those. Can we switch to another story, one that has a point? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I come home, I turn the oven on, in case you wanted one of them warmed up. Holy crap. And I noticed that my mobile was flashing. There was a message from Jamie, the director of the Quick Claim advert. The one you should have sued. Ah, well, now that is my point. Jamie has gone on to his next job, which is an eight-part comedy drama for BBC One called All About Eddie. And he has offered me a part in it. <laughs> and that is what I call karma. <laughs> well, it's not really karma, it's more luck. No, because I could have sued, but instead I let it go, and now this has happened. Good. You were right. I was wrong. Well done, and thanks for the pastries. You don't want to know which part I'll be playing? What? In all about Eddie, the part I'll be playing. Oh, yeah. What part are you playing? Eddie. I'm Eddie. I'm playing Eddie in all about Eddie. Seriously? You're like the Eddie in the title? Yeah, that's me. And there's only one Eddie in it? Yes, there's only one Eddie. Why would there be two people called Eddie in the show? That would be confusing and stupid. <laughs> and there is only one Eddie. No, well, I thought there would be. I just wanted to, you know. <laughs> Well, I look forward to getting the script. Thanks, Jamie. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> oh, hi, Magda. Hello. Funny that. Just how I got the lead role in a major BBC series. What's this? This is Manila from Kaboot Cell. Because I'm sorry about the medals. Don't worry. Mel told me about it. They were in the box. With... It's okay. It's not your fault. I would like you to have. It's a nice gesture, but really, it's not about the money. It's more the sentimental value. Perhaps I can find men who bought that car boot cell. I wouldn't worry. It'll be on eBay by now. <laughs> Just someone's lucky day. Oh, well, thank you for being so kind about it. I, I was worried you were going to be angry. <laughs> oh, well, I could be, but really, what's the point? I suppose I'm a bit like that man you were telling me about. Man? You know, in the war, when you thought you were going to be shot. And then the leader man turned up and said, go run, hide. I'm a bit like him. You know? Isn't it fantastic? It's an eight-part comedy drama all about me. It's going to be massive. It's wonderful news. I know. Although I'm only going to do three series max and then walk away. I don't want people to think I am Eddie. I'm really happy for and you. There are so many other roles out there. I always fancy having a crack at Doctor Who. Rick. 
think perhaps we should order. Oh, yes. Um, I'll have the sashimi, please, with a side order of snow peas. Yeah, and I'll have the fish cakes, please. Of course. <laughs> so, congratulations. It's nice to have some good news. Oh, what, the medals? Oh, don't worry about that. Like I said, don't sweat the small stuff. Actually, I meant Sam. Oh, she's fine. I had a word with her. Yeah, she said. I mean, the main thing is, she'll get over it. She'll meet someone else. These things usually turn out for the best. Well, let's hope so. I mean, look at me. I could have been killed, and now, instead of being dead, this has happened. <laughs> Jamie's sending the script over tomorrow. He's the director. He's a great bloke. Marcy, yeah. Look what arrived this morning. All about Eddie. Look at that. That's just episode one. So you read it yet? Well, I was reading it when you came in. It's fantastic. Eddie's a great character, very complex, drives a Porsche. 911? 911 GT3 RS. Now you're making me jealous. No, don't be. Come and visit me on set, take it for a spin. Actually, no, you'd probably better maybe not because of the insurance. No, don't worry about me. I'll just watch it from home. Oh, hi, Ben. All right. I don't think Sam's in. Oh, no, I just came to get my stuff. Well, like I say, yes. I don't want to come in yes. anyway. Yes. Wait for her. Yeah, I must admit, it did come as a bit of a surprise. Yeah. Still, there you go. Sometimes these things happen. Yeah. Anyway, it's an eight-part comedy drama called All About Eddie. Right, right. So what's it about? Well, it's all about Eddie. And I'm playing Eddie. Ah, cool. Yeah. And like I say, it all came about because of this near-death thing. The lamp. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, what have you been up to, apart from looking around record shops? Anything else? It's just been a bit dead, really. I went to see Spikey. Yeah. He's in the hospital. Oh. What's the matter with him? He got hold of some diazepam. Did he? His stepmom's a mental nurse. Oh, I see. Sent him a bit weird. Had it with one of them wine boxes. Stupid, really. Well, he had a whole wine box. Yeah, you know the ones with the little tap. Yeah, I know what they are. They're just anyway, he ended up in uh, in hospital. Oh dear. Mm. Bad luck, Spiky. Nice, well, his own fault, really. I suppose so. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Sam. Um, do you know has Ben caught? Uh... Hi. What? Uh, have you seen Spiky? Yeah, yeah, he's he's all right. Oh, good, good. Uh, might go see him. Anyway, shall I? Uh, no, no, it's all right. Uh, your your stuff's out here. Oh, thanks. Found that book. Cool, cool. All right. Well, uh, I'm I'm gonna. It's on in October. Yeah. I thought Sam seemed a bit happier today. Rick, have you read this script? Great, isn't it? You haven't read it, have you? Well, I read the first couple of pages, then Marty distracted me. See how I drive a Porsche? Yes, into a lorry. How do you mean? You crash into a lorry and die. Oh, don't spoil the ending. I haven't read it yet. It's not the ending. This is on page three. Well, so the, the rest is just flashbacks leading to the... No. You die on page three, and then you're not in it again. No, no. Look. <laughs> she mentions me there. Julie mentions me, uh, and again there. See? Yes, because you're dead. Well, I doubt very much I'm dead. Oh, God, read page three. Look, Eddie hangs from the car window, dead. His neck at a hideous angle. Yeah, but I can't be, because it's all about Eddie. It's all about Eddie's friends and how they come to terms with the fact that Eddie's dead. Okay. Well, this is just the first episode. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. But that is a relief. <laughs> now, because I was reading episode one and thinking, hang on a second, is he definitely dead? <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, no, that's great for my schedule. Mm. So I'm just in the first episode. Mm? Great. And what, a day's filming? 
If that exactly. <laughs> Phew. Uh, that, that's great. Thanks. Thanks, Jamie. Cheers. <laughs> Good morning. I just want to say thank you again for being so kind about Carbutzel. It's sale, Magda. Car boot sale. How many bloody times do I have to tell you? Oh dear. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. Marty's just been filling me in. Killed off on page three. <laughs> that is priceless. Yeah, isn't it? Can I have a steak sandwich and chips? Oh, yes, sir. Mm. Uh, what a massive disappointment. Not really, no. Anyway, Rick, um, I know you're a fan of my art. I wondered if I could show you my latest. Yeah, maybe later. Just... I'd like to see it. Yes, great. I'll go and get it. What happened to Gandhi? Can you just drop it? OK, right, now, I hope you're ready for this. Bryony says it's my best work yet. <laughs> oh, OK. So what's this one called, Mother? No, <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it's Rick. That's me? Yes. What do you think? <laughs> what do I think? About the portrait. <laughs> Want to buy it? <laughs> Actually, it's not for sale, because Bryony says I need to keep them so that I can work through the... No, go on, what do you think? Oh, you really don't want to know. Yes, I do. Oh, Michael, I'm, I'm really not in the mood for this. What's the matter? I got your tongue. OK, you want to know what I think? I don't like it. It's nothing like me or anyone. Yes, well, you have missed the point. It's expressionist. <laughs> yes. well, expressionist or not, that is one of the worst drawings I've ever seen. It's rubbish. And if you think you're going to be an artist, then you are completely deluded. Whoa, Rick, this isn't the X Factor. No, he needs to hear this. That is pathetic. I wouldn't rate it if you told me it would be done by a two-year-old chimp. And you know what, Michael? If I'm honest, I don't think this briny person is doing you any good with those stupid art therapy and psycho babble. <sighs> Fine. That's your truth, I and I respect, respect it. Yeah, I know. I was just hoping you'd like it, that's well, all. I didn't. I'll get your steak sandwich. Please. I still can't believe you did it. I've said sorry. What else do you want me to say? Well, it's just such a stupid thing to do. Oh, and you've never done anything stupid. Well, yeah, I trusted you with my medals. I was going to get them framed. Oh, you've been saying that for years. Anyway, why are you bringing all this up again? Well, it's only just sunk in, the enormity of it. Oh, come off it. Anyone would think you got the George Cross. It's only a bloody air raid warden. How dare you belittle the role of the ARP? I'm not belittling it. Just pointing out that they were service medals for being an air raid warden. And strictly speaking, one of them was a badge. It took a lot of courage for my grandfather to do what he did, riding around on his bicycle. Yes, on his bicycle. Yes, getting people to turn their lights off, bombs raining down all around him, the terror, confusion. Please, he lived in a village in Somerset. He never even heard a bomb. Your mum told me that. Well, it shows what a good job he did. <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh, lighten up. Go and listen to some bloody bird song. Because that's how you spell it. Only if you're illiterate. It's the American spelling. Well, I'll rest my case. There's a U in it. Look, after the O, see the one shaped like a donut. See, this is more like it. What? The old Rick is back. It's so much better when nothing's working out for you. No, that's where you're wrong. You know my medals? Your grandfather's medals. I'm getting them back. No kidding. Yeah, I found them on eBay. Are you sure they're the same ones? Oh, I'd recognize them anywhere. Anyways, the corner of the shoebox in the photo. Well, there you go. How much? 70 quid. Ooh. Well, 71 in the end. I got into a bidding war with some idiot. They didn't know who they were up against. This is family history. You can't put a price on that. Apparently you can. 71 pounds. Still worth every penny on, I think, what my granddad went through. You know, in the Blitz. I mean, this is before you lot joined in. Oh, no, not this again. Please. Bombs raining down all around him. Terror, confusion. It's a bit like when that lamp fell on me. It's exactly like that. So you get back to that director guy yet? Jamie? Yeah, I've said I'll do it. I might as well. I don't want to let him down. Besides, if it's a hit, there might be a prequel. All about Eddie, only this time with Eddie in it. Yeah, or I could come back as a ghost. Or maybe you're not really dead. You wake up in the 70s and drive around in a Cortina. Hey, Magda. Hello. Uh, Magda, I was just saying, I managed to track down those medals you lost. They were on eBay. Cost me 71 pounds, but... <laughs> What's wrong with you? I found them also on eBay. I tried to buy for you. I'm putting five pounds, and then other person is putting ten pounds, and then I'm putting eleven pounds, another person is putting twenty pounds. I know what happened. And, and then... I know what happened. Why did you keep bidding? Because you keep bidding. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Magda. That's 71 quid you've cost me. No, 63. What? Well, I gave you eight pounds before. 
Oh, well, that hardly counts. It's from car boot sale. Yeah, but that's for borrowing my car to go there in. You would not lend me your car. Of course I did. Didn't you go in my car? You see, you could have... Man. It's high time we admitted it. Not one of us. Really gone down here. And that's just the second episode.